Hey viewers, welcome to my channel again. Hope all are good and safe during this lockdown. Uh, so welcome to my channel again and in this video we will be learning about uh, the method of fertilizer application so we know that uh, farmers have been applying fertilizers since years but uh, the thing is they lack the scientific knowledge actually farmers are very talented than scientists we should uh, regard their practical knowledge but the thing is they should uh, be aware of the latest technologies uh, that will be very useful for them uh, in having a good yield and they do not require to spend more on uh, fertilizer applications if they know the latest methods so as a student of agriculture we should uh, always know uh, that uh, there are different methods of fertilizer applications which we can adopt like uh, for the first thing is broadcasting so broadcasting as we know is uh, the direct application of fertilizers here uh, the large quantities of uh, fertilizers are required to spread over the field so farmers generally check uh, urea potash and uh, ssp or uh, mop something and they spray it directly on the field so the main problem here is there is uh, no check or control on the quantity of the fertilizer applied coming to the second one placement so placement is uh, it is the application of fertilizers at a particular place where it is actually required so placement of fertilizers is a very important factor uh, important uh, thing because uh, we have to apply the correct dose of fertilizers only to the crop so that it can grow better and yield better without any extra losses or extra additional uh, residual effects to the soil or crop so the first thing uh, that comes in placement is drilling so by drilling how we can apply is we can use a seed cone fertilizer drill by which we can apply the fertilizers along with the seed in the field the next one is band application so band application is uh, a uh, is a actually is a practice which uh, is practiced in the standing crops means see if we have planted sugar cane we cannot go into that uh, field and apply the fertilizer so we can apply the fertilizers in bands means in either side of the crop rows in both side of the rows so this is one of the best uh, application of uh, fertilizers we also call it as a side brushing okay mainly for fruit trees we can do this and for spot placement so applying such a micronutrients or urea at a particular spot is very important for the crop growth so spot placement is uh, applying the fertilizer near the plant near the uh, down part where the plant is connected with the soil we can apply that so this is spot placement okay so urea super granules we know usg are deep placed in lowland rice so aerial application so what do you mean by aerial application see we don't find aerial application uh, in uh, india actually it's um, main practiced in uh, rich countries like uh, america or uh, australia new zealand holland or uh, canada and few others so what they do here is uh, uh, they plant uh, crops in the hilly regions okay so for these hilly regions we cannot uh, go into so and co completely apply fertilizers there whole day so aerial fertilization is a, a type of method in which uh, large area of uh, land can be fertilized through a uh, drone or through aircrafts okay so this is a costly method actually mainly not never practiced in india before injection into soil so what do you mean by injection into soil it is not like uh, we have to take an injection and put it into the soil the fertilizers no it is applying the fertilizers into the soil with the help of some equipments there are certain equipments and this method is also mostly practiced in the united states of america so there are fertilizers like anhydrous ammonia and nitrogen solutions which can be injected into the soil coming next the fertigation fertigation is a common term nowadays uh, the application of fertilizers along with water is called as fertigation so when we apply the fertilizers along with water the main advantage is 
it gets dissolved with the water and it is directly absorbed by the plant so this is the main advantage of fertigation many micronutrients can also be applied to fertigation urea can be applied and coming to the last one is foliar application so what we mean by foliar application so see there are many fertilizers and many fertilizers that is being developed which are very highly soluble in water nowadays so this can be applied by mixing a small quantity of uh, fertilizer with water and we can spray it so spraying of uh, fertilizers uh, is known as foliar application see if you require two percent of urea or two percent of zinc uh, as micronutrients are required very less quantity very less quantity so when we want uh, very less quantity to be sprayed we can adopt for foliar application so this is all about uh, the method of fertilizer application this knowledge of uh, the fertilizer application is must for every agriculture student to guide any farmers in application of fertilizer so that uh, the soil quality remains better and uh, the farmer do not suffer maximum loss in fertilizer applications so this is all about the video and thank you for watching it with patience and i hope uh, I'm giving you much information for my videos and hope continuing with uh, many other videos about different topics about agriculture. So thank you for uh, watching this video with patience. Keep liking, sharing and subscribing and remember press the bell icon to receive the latest notifications and videos from my channel. Thank you.